we learned earlier today that Joan Rivers uh, passed away at the age of uh, 81. Yeah, uh, she had, uh, uh, as we know, problems with the surgery, I guess, a week ago or so. Uh, and, and it seemed hopeful uh, for a while, but it did not uh, uh, turn out that way. And, and uh, today she uh, sadly passed away. Uh, there was uh, complications of some uh, surgery. Uh, I don't know the full details, but the, the sad truth is uh, that she's gone. And, and now here's a woman, uh, I don't know, a, a real a pioneer for uh, other women looking for careers in, in stand-up comedy. And, and this, this woman uh, would talk about guts. And, and, and by the way, she was indefatigable. Uh, she would be on this show, uh, she would be on all of the shows, and she would work about 300 dates a year. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of travel. And she would go out, and she was 81 years old out doing it, and uh, funny uh, today as she was when she first got into show business, and talk about guts. She would come out here and sit in this chair and say some things that were ah. unbelievable. Yeah. Just where you would have to swallow pretty hard and twice. But it was hilarious, and, and she stood behind her jokes and, to my knowledge, would, would say these things and never apologize because she always felt, hey, I'm a comedian, these are jokes, there are no victimless jokes, and she was harder on herself than anybody, really. She would tell these god-awful jokes about herself. So she felt like, look, if I'm going to tell them about myself, then there are some other people out there that grow up. These are just jokes, ladies and gentlemen. So we lost a comedy legend today. The great Joan Rivers passed away today. She was 81 years old. And besides being a pioneer for women in comedy, for everyone in comedy, Joan was a very lucky person because she loved her job so much she never wanted to stop. And she didn't have to stop because she was still great at it. I had the good fortune of having Joan on the show, I think, like, six times and, for, and I want to show a clip from the last time she was here because she was so funny keep in mind when you see this this woman is 80 years old in this what does your grandson want to do when he grows up does he uh, know yet right now he's 10 he wants to be a, a football player but you know stupid what do you want him to be gay who else is gonna give a damn that I knew Judy Garland <laughs> <laughs> grandma tell me all <laughs> Melissa's adopting now. Oh, she is. Oh, that's well. That's got to be exciting. Her, her very good friend is Nicole Kidman. Okay. Yeah, you know, and gorgeous. No yeah, humor though. Sure. But God bless her. <laughs> but, uh, 125 feet tall. Uh huh. Three pounds. Always in a red dress with a white face. Looks like a ketchup bottle. <laughs> Walks around. <laughs> Mustard dress. I said, Look what condiments. She was something else. So, my thoughts go out to Joan's daughter, Melissa, and uh, her grandson. The good news is there is less pressure on him to be gay now. So, <laughs> there's less pressure on all of us, really, to be gay now. But we will miss you, Joan. There are very few people in my business uh, that you could say are or were uh, actually groundbreaking talents. Uh, Joan Rivers was one of them. Uh, unfortunately, she's passed away. We send uh, our very best out to her family. Uh, we're all thinking of you. Anyway, here it is. Your moment is in. A girl can't call. Girl, you have to wait for the phone to ring, right? And when you, when you finally go on the date, the girl has to be well-dressed. The face has to look nice. The hair has to be in shape. The, the girl has to be the one that's bright and pretty, intelligent, a, a good sport. Howard Johnson's again. Hooray, hooray. 